Stop building ugly N810 workflows. Do this instead. You build amazing automations. They work perfectly. But when you show them to clients, they have no idea what is happening. Nodes, webhooks, connections everywhere. Your client just wants a simple button, not a NASA control panel. What if you could build a beautiful, professional UI for any N810 workflow in under two minutes with just one prompt? It's called Lovable. It connects to N810 using MCP. You type one sentence and it builds the complete front end for your workflow all automatically look at this ats resume analyzer i built then check out this youtube thumbnail generator all using lovable and the third one is an ai prompt generator it looks clean and professional so clients love this when you deliver a workflow with a ui like this you're not building automations anymore you are selling a product and products they sell for 2x or 3x more so this is one of the ui design that i have built for this workflow so it is ats resume analyzer so based on my resume and the job description it will give me ATS score plus it will suggest me what all improvement needs to be done okay so let me check how this works so this is how it looks basically so here I can directly upload the PDF file of the resume or else I can directly copy paste the text of the resume okay and on the right hand side I will paste the job description wherever I want to apply for the job okay so I have already made a dummy resume I'll just copy paste it from chat GPT so this is the one so I'll copy this from here I'll come here and I'll come in the text section I'll just paste it here okay and for job description I've already got a sample job description I'll come to chat GPT I'll just copy paste it from here and now I'll come here I'll paste it here okay so I've copy pasted the resume text and I've copy pasted the job description so now I'll click on analyze resume if I click on execution you can see this is running so let us wait for the result boom you can see we have got the result the ATS score is 82 we can see the name it says good match a few improvements can boost your chances we can see the keyword match format score experience skill assignment okay and here we can see the keyword these are the matched keyword these are the missing keywords if i see analysis here we can see the strengths here we can see areas of improvement and now if i click on suggestion these are the suggestions that it has given and now if i click on optimized we can see this is an optimized professional summary and these are the skills that it wants me to add okay and then if i click on interview these are the tips for interview okay so this looks really great so i have built this using lovable i've also made one more design here i'll show you so this is the second ui that i have generated so this is basically a youtube thumbnail generator okay so here i'll enter the video title here i'll enter the video description and then i'll have to upload a reference image and then i'll click on generate it will generate three different thumbnails okay so this is how the backend looks like okay so if you want all this json file you can join my community you can get it there for free so now let me see how this works so now for the video title i have already got a dummy video title from chat gpt i'll just come to chat gpt and copy paste it here okay so this is it i'll just copy it from here i'll come here and i'll paste it here okay so i built this ai automation that replaced 10 hours of manual work and it in plus chat gpt this is the title now for description i'll come here and i'll just copy this description from here okay so i have copied this I'll come here and I'll paste the description here. Okay. So now I have to upload a reference image. So here I'll be uploading my picture. Okay. So I'll click here and then I'll select one picture of mine. I'll select this and now I'll click on generate three thumbnail styles. Okay. So now it is uploading the image and now it is showing crafting your thumbnails. So if I see my workflow, if I click on execution, you can see this is running. Okay. So after this is complete, then I can see the output there. So let us wait for some time. So now we can see this is done completely. And now if we come here, we can see we have three different thumbnails. This looks really amazing. So I also have a download option. If I click here, I can download the file okay so this looks really amazing okay just see the ui it looks really professional so you can build all these beautiful designs using lovable so the problem is our client they don't understand the workflows okay so they want a simple ui so that they can easily understand what is going on they don't want to check what is going on in the back end so the reason why they love clean ui is because it's easier for them to understand okay it is also very simple to use plus it looks very professional okay and they can be your recurring customer if they really like what you do so for for this reason from now on you can easily build beautiful ui with the help of lovable so just go to this site 
lovable.dev and then you can sign up okay so i've already got an account so i'll click on login so after logging in this is what you will see so now let us understand what is lovable so lovable is an ai powered tool wherein it can build a full web application with the help of simple text prompt okay you don't have to understand what is coding and all you just give simple prompts and it can build full web application for you so lovable has integrated with mcp so we'll be using mcp access of lovable to build this beautiful designs okay so now let us understand what is mcp mcp stands for model context protocol so it is a way by which different ai tools can communicate with each other using a universal plug which means in my case lovable can see what is going on in my workflow it can check each and everything this is why we are connecting mcp so now in this example i'll show you how to do this exactly okay so we already have got a workflow by the name ai prompt generator okay so i'll show you how to enable mcp how to build those beautiful ui okay so let me come to my workflow so this is how the workflow looks like so it is a prompt generator so user will input the prompt that they require so user will make their inquiry in lovable they will enter their requirement what sort of prompt they are looking for based on their requirement then this workflow will generate the prompt okay and they can see the result in lovable itself so now we'll be connecting this workflow with lovable okay so to do it it is important for us to first connect lovable with na10 okay so to do this we'll come to lovable so this is our lovable dashboard so just click on your profile section click on settings after clicking on settings on the left hand side you can see connectors click here and then you will see an option of na10 okay so in my case you can see it is enabled because i have enabled it by myself so in your case it will not be enabled you will have to click and enable it okay so i'll click here and then you can see here it is disconnect in your case you will see enable option okay so in my case i have already connected it so i'm not doing it again so this is how you can connect your na10 with lovable okay so now once this is connected we'll come to our workflow again so this is our workflow so now you'll have to publish this okay this is very important and then the second thing you have to mention is a description for this workflow so if you see here i have given my description it's an ai powered workflow that transforms your rough ideas into professional ready to use prompts okay so you can give more details about the workflow here and then you can click on save so after adding the description then you have to activate mcp for this workflow okay so to activate mcp for this workflow i'll come here i'll click on this three dots and then i'll click on settings here okay i'll click on settings and then come down below here you will see available in mcp okay you have to toggle this on okay so i've already toggled this on so in your case you have to do this so now i'll click on save so now i'll come here and i'll simply copy this workflow name from here okay so after copying this workflow name i'll come to lovable here i'll simply paste it here okay so this is my workflow name so now i'll type here build me a beautiful ui for this workflow using mcp access okay this is what i have mentioned so i'll also mention one more prompt here let me say I want a beautiful looking UI. I like dark themed gradient design UI. It should have a glowing effect whenever I hover over it and it should look amazing. The font style and everything should look well and professional as per modern design. Now I have given a simple prompt. I'll click on enter here. Okay. So now we'll have to wait. We will wait so we can see on the left hand side it is thinking and it will work i'll build a stunning dark theme ui for the ultimate prompt generator tool so let me first check the available and it workflow to understand the interface requirement okay so if i click on allow it will check my workflow so if i click on allow so it says I found the workflow so it has found my workflow from any time so it says let me get the detailed specification so now if I click on allow it will get the specification so I'll click on allow here and now let us wait it says now I understand the workflow so it expects prompt type your base idea style tone output length and additional instruction okay so now we have to wait for some time until it designs me a beautiful looking ui okay so let us wait and now it says what's next refine and customize add history so it is asking me to modify so right now i'm not looking to modify it i just want to view what it has built for me okay so let me check what it has created for me boom we can see we have got a beautiful design here okay so now i'll just make it full screen so this is what it has built for us so this looks really amazing so now let us try and see how it goes okay so now in the prompt type let me select let's say it is for chat gpt now your base idea so enter my rough idea so now it is asking for base idea so let me click here and search i want to learn anything automation okay so this is what i've mentioned now in style and tone let me select it to be formal let's say 
professional let me select professional here so in the output length let me select medium here and then additional instruction let me keep it empty now let me click on generate prompt okay so now it is generating now if i come to my workflow if i see the execution so you can see it has done this execution and we have got a response here okay so if i come here again we can see this is the generated prompt okay you are an experienced automation consultant specializing in n and workflows i'm a professional seeking to learn how to use n for automation from the ground up okay so it has given a detailed prompt i can simply copy this and i can come to chat gpt and i can just paste it here and see how this goes so this time the output will be much better because this is a detailed prompt here okay so now this is how it works now i'll click on reset here and now i'll come here i'll select let's say this time i'm doing it for content writing okay so here i'll mention i want a blog post on how to start an attend automation journey okay so this is what i have mentioned now the style and tone let me mention it to be let's say creative output length let me select it to be let's say medium and now this one will be empty i'll click on generate prompt and now if i come here in this workflow now we can see this has succeeded and now we'll come here we'll see the result so this is the result so it says write a creative and engaging medium length blog post that guides reader on how to start their anytime automation journey from scratch okay begin with captivating hook and all so now i'll just copy this prompt i'll come to chat gpt and i'll just paste it here and you will see a beautiful reply here okay boom you can see so it is giving me a detailed blog post okay based on the prompt that i have given so this is how you do it this looks really amazing so if you want the ui to be better it is important to mention the color that you want and you can also keep on prompting and see the final result until and unless you are happy you can keep on prompting and you can get the result that you desire we just gave one prompt okay so based out of that prompt it has given us a beautiful result within a few minutes okay so this is really insane so earlier if you were charging less from your clients just to build the workflow so from now on you can build this beautiful looking ui and you can charge more so you can easily charge 2x or 3x more because clients are going to love this so if you want the json files for all the workflows that i have used and if you want the step-by-step -step guide you can join my free school community you can click on the link down in the description so if you like this video you can put a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel for more ai automation videos thank you so much for watching